Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be going through all you need to know about camos in the economy update. Starting off, permanent camos. No matter if it's for a premium or tech tree ship, as long as your ship has a permanent camouflage equipped to it, the economy bonuses will be updated to match the new calculation methods and will automatically be applied to the ship permanently. It will not interfere with the bonuses that you've obtained through the updates or rewards. On the other hand, some camos have more bonuses than ordinary perma camos. Roma's tin can or Black's camouflage, which can be obtained through the armory, for example. If you obtain one of those before the update, then the bonus economy will at least remain the same. However, after the update, the economy bonus from perma camos will be based on the ship tier, according to the graph that you see on the screen here. Okay, so what I'm going to be talking about next only applies for premium ships. If you enjoy playing a ship on this list, then it is best to obtain its camouflage with its superior economy bonuses before the update. And the reason being, after the update, although the camel might still be obtainable, the economy bonus will then be based on the tier, as I mentioned previously. So Wargaming decided to let you purchase Perma Economy bonuses and Perma Camo separately, but only on the first one. The price of the Perma Economy bonuses will be slightly less than the price of the Perma Camos we have right now. This will only happen on Tech Tree ships, since Perma Economy bonuses will automatically be applied to Premium ships. So I also recommend you to only buy the Perma Economy bonuses of a Tech Tree if you are going to and probably do it after the update since you're going to get a small discount. And then if the ship ever gets uh, a beautiful camo in the future, you'll be able to purchase it at, uh, you'll be able to get the camo at a discount. Now if you ever had those permanent camouflages that can be applied to your ship, but you haven't done so just yet, Wargaming will split the perma camo and also the perma economy bonus uh, for you. In this case, you'll be able to put, say, the New Year's camo on a premium ship you like, but save the perma economy bonus for a tech tree. Now, what if you have multiple perma camos for a ship? The bonuses will not add up, and instead, the system will pick the best economy boost for each currency and automatically apply it to your ship. So in our current system, Tech tree ships could still consume expendable camouflages to kind of match the economy gain a premium ship gets. But after the update, premium ships will not only have the built-in economy boost, they would also benefit from the permanent economy bonus acquired from the permanent camouflage before the update. Although this is a reasonable change for perma camos, I'm quite concerned that it will encourage more people to spend money on acquiring permanent bonuses on tech trees just to grind things faster. It isn't a huge bonus for old players, but it's quite something for new players who started from zero. And now, uh, we also have expendable camos, which are much easier to explain, I'll be honest. Uh, so, all the ones you see right now, all the ones you see in the camouflage page right here will be, uh, okay, most of it will be available for credits in the armory. And there are four tiers in total, one being more expensive than another. On the other hand, camouflage obtained with special methods, for example, like rank camouflages or a recruit station, recruitment station camouflages, they'll still be obtainable by uh, their own methods, like winning games in ranked or having enough uh, community tokens. And that should be all you need to know about camouflages in the economy update. There's still many more videos of the economy update, so check the playlist if you have any questions about those stuff. And also, please let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and have a great day out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.